Hey, VC. I feel like I have cat fur all over me today. I don't know what it is. It's freaking weird. Uh, I'm always paranoid that I'm gonna, I have three cats. So every time I make these videos, I'm like, do I have fur like all over me? But hopefully you guys can't see it. <laughs> this is Hubtoons. Welcome back. I'm Mike. We're gonna do uh, rock and roll birthdays for April. I'm only doing, I think I'm only doing 10, maybe 12. I didn't feel like pulling out a whole bunch of records. And a lot of people died. <laughs> a lot of people who were born in April, like, are dead. Um, honorable mention, I will say, is, um, I got, Duke Ellington would be 123 today if he was still alive. That's crazy. 123. Can you imagine? Um, just not an honorable mention. Um... Okay, yeah, I got, um, I have, I have 12. I have 12, so we'll just get, just get this going. Shut up. Uh, Peter Garrett of the band Midnight Oil. He is 67. This is a great record. This is, um, maybe their second or third album. Uh, it's called, uh, well, I'll just call it 10 through 1. But, um, great record. Punky, punky post-punk rock, if that's a genre. <laughs> genre um great band they are actually getting ready to release a new album and uh doing their final tour i got tickets to see them and uh, i think i think it's may or june so that should be great i cannot wait i love midnight oil out of australia uh, i love their early stuff like their first three records really cool stuff just very punky very in your face and then they had the big hit um whatever that album was called i have no idea uh next up Black Francis of the band Pixies. This is Surfer Rosa, my favorite Pixies record. He is 57. Uh, great record, great band. Kim Deal on bass on a lot of their records. I love her. She's also in the Breeders. Um, if you ever get to see them live, they're still really good live. I saw them a couple years ago with uh, a band called Royal Blood. Uh, they were opening, and both bands absolutely rocked. In fact, I'd have to say... Royal Blood was actually better than the Pixies, but a uh, great night. Drove up to, Mo uh, where do we see them? Madison. We drove up to Madison, Wisconsin to see them. Great double lineup. Great band. The Pixies. Black Francis is 57. Uh, Mick Abrams. Who the fuck is Mick Abrams? Mick Abrams was the original guitarist before Martin Barr in Jethro Tull. He is... 79. This is my favorite Jethro Tull album. If you guys follow this channel, you know this is m by far my favorite. I, they kind of actually lose me a little bit. I love the bluesy rawness of this. Uh, he was a terrific guitarist. This is a gatefold. I believe this is actually an OG. Um, great, great record. This was Jethro Tull's debut. Very bluesy, not prog at all. Check it out. Uh, next up... Ooh, probably one of the most underrated guitarists around. And that's Steve Howe of the band Yes. He is 75 today. Uh, I'm not showing... I was going to show one of my... I was going to show Fragile, because um, I got a beautiful one step of that. Um, but, no, nope, I'm showing this because I think it's really underrated. This is um, Going for the One. I think this is a really underrated record. This and Tomato have really great guitar work that he does not get enough credit for. He is a terrific guitarist. Steve Howe is, what I say, 75. Uh, probably might be one of my favorite jazz musicians, definitely in the top five. Um, Herbie Hancock is 82 in April. Uh, I just got to see Herbie a couple of months ago. He was absolutely phenomenal. He's got so much energy. He was still reinventing himself. Played a lot of old stuff, but rearranged it. It was absolutely terrific. His band was not phenomenal. Actually, my uh, concert review is in the concert review series. If you want to go back and look in the playlists, it was a wonderful, wonderful night. Uh, and this is my favorite Herbie Hancock record, uh, Inventions and Dimensions, with... Uh, look, I got my little... Uh, Program from the show, Paul Chambers, uh, Willie Bobo, and Chah Chahuna Martinez. Um, great, great record. I butchered that, didn't I? Absolutely my favorite. Favorite Herbie Hancock record. Uh, Jack Cassidy of Jefferson Airplane is seven, 78. Wow. 
<laughs> 78. He's also in the band Hot Tuna. And I love Hot Tuna. This is my favorite Hot Tuna record. Hot Tuna is pretty much two bands. You got the acoustic band and you got the electric band. This is their best acoustic record. I absolutely love this. I think it's just called, I think it's just called Hot Tuna. Uh, but Jack Cassidy, Yorma Kukkonen, great, great acoustic, folky record. Absolutely fantastic. If you like stuff like that, must have in the collection. Uh, they also are electric a lot of times. This is my favorite electric record of theirs. Uh, Hot Tuna, uh, what is it, America's Choice, I think it's called? Yep, America's Choice. This is a Record Store Day reissue from a couple of years ago on Yellow. Uh, pretty cool record. Uh, I also like Burgers. Burgers is a really cool electric record they did too. But um, I prefer this, I think. Uh, next up, uh, Max Weinberg of the E Street Band is 71. This is my favorite, Bruce Springsteen and uh, the... Uh, is this technically E Street Band? I guess it is. I don't know. Um, I'm not a big Bruce Springsteen fan. I like him. He's fine. I love this record, though. I don't even know if Max Weinberg plays on it, but I'm showing it. It's my channel. Great, great record. This is his best record. I absolutely love this record. Uh, next up, uh, John Bell. Who's John Bell? John Bell is the lead singer for Widespread Panic. Uh, he is 60. And this is their debut record. I believe it's just called Widespread Panic. And it's great. It is a, it's kind of before they got into being like a big jam band. Uh, their first two records are really, really solid. There's a song on here called Barstools and Dreamers that is great. Um, just a really, really good record. Uh, Send Your Mind was actually a hit, kind of a hit. Walkin' was semi hit. Great song called Pigeons. Uh, Love Tractor. Uh, just a great record. Their second, their, this is actually, I think, their second record, uh, but this one was released first. Uh, the next one that came out had great versions of uh, Travel and Light by J.J. Kale, and they also did a cover of um, The Talking Heads Heaven. A really good record. Their first two records are where it's at. Uh, next up, what is it? Oh, this. Robert Smith of The Cure is 63 as we eagerly await <laughs> the new record that's been finished for 10 years and still we have not seen it. This is uh, Boys Don't Cry, the UK version. Great, great record. I love their early stuff, their first their first three, four records. They're just kind of raw, punky, you know, goth. Really good records. Um, kind of changed with this one, but um, Faith and uh, what was it? Um, the first one, uh, Imaginary Boys, Three Imaginary Boys. Great records. This one falls in. Really good record. Huge hit. Boys Don't Cry. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Willie Nelson is 89. Happy birthday, Willie. Um, I saw his sister just passed away, which was really sad. She was well into her 90s, too. So some good genes in that family. Uh, this is Willie Nelson Stardust, probably his commercial su most commercially successful record, I would say. Uh, great record. American songbook standards kind of stuff, but he does a really good job with most everything on here. Um, there's a couple of clunkers, but for most, I think it's fantastic. Stardust, Willie Nelson. Happy birthday, Willie. And last, Klaus Vormann is 84 years old. Klaus Vormann is the bassist. He was a longtime Beatle confidant. He is a bassist. He was on this masterpiece of an album. He was on a couple other John Lennon solo records. Uh, his bass playing on this, this is the anniversary issue that just came out a couple of years ago. Um, Absolutely beautiful. Uh, his bass playing with Ringo on drums is just stunning. Really, really good play bass player. Absolutely wonderful. One of my favorite albums of all time. He also designed the cover of this record, which I'm sure a lot of you know. Uh, he drew it, designed it. Klaus Foreman, 80? What did I say? 84 years old. Happy birthday, Klaus. That's it, guys. Everyone stay well. Questions, comments, snide remarks down in the uh, comment section. I will talk to you soon. Bye.